can't believe that I'm getting a chance to talk to Stoneboy. But it's a pleasure to see you. And um, congratulations on your BET nomination this year as well. Because, hey, uh, we always feel proud when one of our own is, you know, out there as well. So we're, we're, totally, we're totally behind you. And um, you probably want to tell us how you can, we can vote so we know exactly yeah. what to do. Um, when, you go on to, when you log on to www.bet.com, mm -hmm. I think uh, you'll find um, the Best International Art Africa space. Mm -hmm. So you just click on there, you see the artist over there, and you find Stonewall, the only representative from Ghana and for Ghana. Amen, so brother. You just have to continue to go. Just, you know, yeah, yeah, to, yeah I, I think we should click just... on the link, mm -hmm. it, 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 it asks you to whether um, vote via your Twitter or Facebook or, okay. yeah, or Google account. So okay. either way, you just click and then you, and then you can vote. Yeah, you can vote. I yeah. think it's once, what, once in a day or something. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's a good way to start. Let's Definitely. start on this. Um, let's start on yeah. Definitely. Let's start on this part, <laughs> folks. Look, I mean, at the end of the day, you can only you you can only get to the top when you support each other. Definitely. Um, we just got to just vote for our own and make sure that he wins because when the pride and the and the glory comes, he comes to Ghana as a whole. And so that we want to. And that would have made it the second time. You know what I mean? And so it's it's it will be good for us to only support Definitely. our own out there. So well, yes. Let's 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 also. <laughs> So, but basically, when you heard about your nomination this for this year's BET Awards, how did you feel? Um, I, I felt it was not, I was happy. I was happy because I've been putting in a lot of work. Were you expecting that you probably get a nomination this year? From the way things were going, uh -huh. I was not gonna. I wasn't. Uh, when things were going. I, I sort of like felt that if we did get a nomination, I wouldn't be surprised. Right. I was only thinking it was gonna be more than an. Um, a Ghanaian artist. Right. That I was I was sure about. That was what my instincts were very sure about that it was gonna be more than one, one Ghanaian artist. artist. But to our surprise, I think it was just one Ghana um, Ghanaian artist. Right. In and then um, your folks the folks in your camp and your family, how did they feel about that? Um basically we're we're all we're happy because this is what we do and we we, we Sometimes when you get some of the things, when some good things come your way, mm -hmm. you, 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 you you know that you deserve them. Right. You know what I mean? Right. If you don't deserve them, you feel, you know also. So you that, know what yeah, I mean? You I can't lie to your so, yeah. so I, I knew that I, I, I know and I feel that I deserve it. Having won the first one the first time when I went there, that was, you know, so this one is for Ghana. This one is for us because when the new scheming, I was happy because we've been putting some work. You know, yeah. in some other yeah. aspects and yeah. pushing, you know, just keeping our focus, keeping yeah. in our line. You know? Yeah. So hard work pays, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and, hard work and, pays. And they say the reward of hard work is more. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking <laughs> earlier, you know, before before we started the show, we were talking about uh, Grammys and all of that. Everything increases yeah. from there. Reward of hard work is more work. So yeah, but yeah, the minute more, yeah, because everything the, is just going to increase. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the minute they nominate you, it means that definitely. you have to work harder. You have to prove yourself. Sure. You know worth the part and all Definitely. of that so yes we we're all expecting but all i of believe that. that next year you know more and more artists from ghana yeah will, i think i i think way. yeah i think you're There's right on the money i think a lot more ghanaian artists are also striving hard to Definitely. get there the and the we Ghana, see yeah. the yeah we Definitely. see the work they are doing and so you know we actually do hope that in the nearest future Definitely. in the same way that we've seen a number of nigerians and south exactly. africans and there we'll see a lot more ghanaians in there okay let's talk about stone boy for a hot minute yeah <laughs> Why did you choose the name Stone Boy for a nickname? Uh, to cut it short, my, my first name, Livingstone, mm -hmm. so the stone comes from there, you know. Um, growing up as a child, I would be called Stone any day, any day, any day right. in class, okay. especially by my father. He started right. the whole Stone thing. Stone, okay. So it stuck, you know, it got stuck. And then when I got the opportunity to go on radio mm -hmm. the first time, I was asked what, what my name was, and I said, ah, I didn't have a proper nickname at the time, you know when you're starting all these things, I remember picking some weird, weird, childish names. What name from, did you pick? I can't remember <laughs> one, but I know the weird, weird one. So when I got the opportunity, finally, I had to represent them, like, oh, yeah, my name is Livingstone. So the guy was like, Stone. Okay, so the Stone Boys, I told him, like, Livingstone, you can call me Stone. So Dr. Dan can offer do my family, yeah. you know. Big respect to him. Was like, okay, there is one stone boy in the house right yeah. now who's about to go on the microphone with yeah. another artist, and that's how it. Got that's stuck. how it all started. So yeah, I, I, that's how it got stuck. Stone let's boy. let's talk about you. Along the way, up. I decided yeah. to change it because to, mm -hmm. to to change it to burn it on. 
But <laughs> it's like keep it burning, you know, burn it on. Oh, so yeah, burn, burn, it, it on. burn it on. Like burn it on. Yeah, burn it on. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. But then that only could come as a surname to the showbiz name. So Stone Boy oh, burn it on. To the burn it on is the surname to the, to <laughs> to the, the Stone you know Boy I mean? first. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I mean, it's all about being creative, definitely, I guess. It's definitely. all good. So let's talk about Stone Boy um, growing up. And um, a lot of people said in the very beginning, they said, oh, it's a young man from a shaman. And I'm like, yeah, but there are people too. Yeah, definitely. You know, and, and so they, they won't give him a hot minute. But then after a while, they're like, oh, you have to believe in him as well. I say, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> our location shouldn't define who we become. But maybe they would have said that, okay, the people on that side of town are probably just, um, you know, the regular line of people that you would have seen mm -hmm. in the music industry. Yeah. So how did you start? Um, I started off my career as one... I, I know at the time, lots of people would tell lies about where they're from. Mm -hmm. Not their fault, absolutely, because there was that prejudice that came with where you come exactly. from or where you're located. Exactly. But um, for an interesting reason... For, uh, for, for an interesting reason, um, um, when you come from a shaman, I fed off the... That, that part of, 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 the, of the judgment that encouraged me, but they didn't know. Mm -hmm. That part of the judgment wouldn't break me because... Uh, yeah, so you had I to prove of. yourself. So anywhere yeah. I went, I had to mention a shaman. Exactly. So, <laughs> you know, I didn't want to lose God at all. I know. I couldn't... So I just... That's me. That's where I come from. I don't have anywhere else. So I've been representing, mentioning Asha Iman. Okay, so... Um, you grew up there. Absolutely. Born and bred absolutely, and buttered. Absolutely. So, while I was attending senior, while I was attending senior high school, in, which is um, which is Tema Methodist mm -hmm, Day in mm -hmm, Tema. Mm -hmm. So crossing Cross from Ashaiman yeah, is just person. you know from the overhead <laughs> yeah. and you're there. So it's that area. So yeah, got the radio opportunity at a very early age from senior high school one. Got on radio, you know. Started doing my thing, and I've always sung. I've always been singing. I've always loved entertainment. I was that kid that would write poems, that would write plays, that you know, you know, in my class and all. What did you really want to be growing up? Um, one thing I knew for sure is that in my dreams, mm -hmm. when I dreamt, mm -hmm. I was a platoon, I was a soldier, I was a flight something. I mean, I you had to wear a uniform. Said, yes, I, <laughs> my, I would. You know those kids dream. You you dream, and your sports teacher is is your. Commander, or your captain, <laughs> you know, I can remember those dreams. But then I also never gave up on anything creative. Um, I love to just stick with, you know, with 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 uh, with the music, with fun, cracking jokes, reading, and all of that. So that part I never left. You know, I've always harnessed that part. Like you'd find me either on this side. So if it came to careers, like pursuing a career, eventually I knew that I was going to go through the education system all through. And then I love to be a military guy and then go over there. Mm -hmm. So while I was going through the education system, I knew semi media, you know, but along the way, I never also gave up on the talent. Mm -hmm. I would 100% and even more on there. And then guess what? At the age of 14, um, by the time I went to, I started senior high, I had to make a critical decision, mm -hmm. you know, to choose one because at the time, I've had my accident, you know, and all of that, so that would really in, uh, be an impediment. Which accident? You know, I had a motor accident where I lost my knee That's to that treasure. effect. Oh, so I see. you guys can realize that I came in with a stiff knee for a while. Right. You know what I mean? That was the, 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 the cause of the accident mm -hmm. and all. So then, you know, as a, as a youth, I had, to, um, I had to sit down, think. I'm like, all right, cool. This is it. What do you do now? And I got stuck more. Like, I think naturally I got stuck more onto the talent side because that is personal, that you can do by yourself. You do not need to have did, to go Did that forward. mean that you missed out on school? No, I didn't miss out on school. No, I still went to school. Definitely, I did. Definitely. And so while I was in the school, so, you know what I mean? Most of, the, most of the people who were around by the time knew and saw, mm -hmm. I, I was like a special student. Like, they are, I was granted liberty to leave class anytime and all because of my situation. Mm -hmm. And also, but then I didn't... I didn't take too much advantage of that. I still made sure that it didn't let me down. It rather encouraged me to go through the senior high school system and then finished up to university where I had to, you know, put myself to school. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Get it done. And still, so it's the grind. It's the grind. <laughs> so this is what the Ashaiman boy can do. I know, right? Being tough, being yeah. strong. Yes. And I'm the 
first boy in the family, so you know how, the, how it goes. You got to be focused. Yeah, you have to take care of the rest. Yeah. But how how did your parents feel about you going into something that wasn't probably what they probably planned for you? Uh, most especially my father, I think, you know, would have wanted me to, you know... Um, be the soldier that you wanted to be? I think he didn't really know about it, but he wouldn't be surprised if I became a soldier because um, they know I'm a hard guy and mm -hmm. my name really says it for itself. Mm -hmm. It's a living stone, so mm -hmm. you know what I mean? <laughs> and you ought to be hard, yeah, like the stone. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my father wouldn't, you know, at the early age, you see, sometimes when you don't prove yourself worthy of support, mm -hmm. you, you don't have to blame nobody for not supporting you, but it's rather sad that people would have to see beyond, like they say, unless you make it, nobody wants to pay you no mind. It's not, that's how it is, but it's not supposed to be, you know what I mean? Sometimes you should just, we should just try for the benefits of the doubt, support people yes. so that one day yes. if they do make it, you mm -hmm. can still say, hey, lucky mm -hmm. semi supporting. You know, you know what yeah, I mean? I feel so, so that warming. was the regular right. parental mm -hmm. issue, not with my mother or my mm -hmm. siblings anyway, mm -hmm. but the old man would see that as I was trying to rebel already, mm -hmm. all them one day. Mm -hmm. So, I, it's, okay. so it's okay. So, I mean, he is and was the top, 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 top artist at the time mm -hmm. who. Who, who was, you know, who led, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, who introduced that type of style, you know, there's reggae, there's dance style, there's Afrobeat, all together in a very nice style, so I think when you heard me on radio, you got convinced, because that was like our home, we went there every Saturday mm -hmm. to battle, mm -hmm. you know, amongst each other, mm -hmm. so before we got out of senior high school, we have, we, we had die hard hardcore underground fan base already mm -hmm. where we've been performing in the senior high school sometimes at the universities because we worked our way right from the underground right. you know what i mean so samini right. met me up along the way and then invited me to come check him out in Nelson. so all the way from my man out go he was like a brother to me i promise no lies you know um i remember that one time when he would pick a phone and call me and say yo what's up i'm like cool um can you come over like, oh, cool, I'm on my way. And he had to wait like three hours because mm -hmm. I have to move from Ashaiman all the way. And there goes some mini waiting all of me. And I get there. And I have to say this, you know, the belief, the belief meant a lot to me, you know, because they say that you, at least you need somebody to believe in you. Right. If they don't even support you or whatever it is, the belief, I could see the belief. He so believed the belief in you and your so talent. Much so that I, yeah. I give him that respect. So, um, we linked up along um, at one studio, S24, mm -hmm. Quakashin Studio, where he was where he was recording his current album at the time, mm -hmm. his album at the time. Mm -hmm. So that was where we linked up. But I was still in school, mm -hmm. so once in a while I touched base, once in a while, and I couldn't wait to complete. So yeah. once I completed, I'm like, all right, let's hit the road, <laughs> you know. So that was where we be began to move along some more, and I learned a lot, you know. You know what I mean? So big up Samini every day, every time. Ima, and then, and wherever and you then, are listening, then, thank you. And then, <laughs> then we decided to drop an album because mm -hmm. the, the 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 plan between him and I was okay. Let's try work and put out an album for you. Right. Exactly. So with all the underground works being done mm -hmm. and all, at the time even him was surprised that the, the amount of fans that I had or mm -hmm. the, the the grounds that I could shake. Mm -hmm. You know. You know what I mean? Because he was seeing it from another side, which is also okay. Right. So when he got to realize it was much more easier. Mm -hmm. So we threw in one song. I believe the song, um, this song, I have had songs before that. Yeah, that you had, time. because you, you said you had we been finished, writing. We finished the underground course a long time. <laughs> so somewhere 2009, we were ready for the road. Right. But then also, you know, that same 2009 there about mm -hmm. was when we decided to even get mentored proper. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I don't have any regrets. Come on, man. We say the truth where it has to be said. So, um, Samini was supposed to drop a song called uh, um, 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 on, 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 on a rhythm, mm -hmm. well, um, JMJ's rhythm. Um, 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 he dropped, Girl, please don't stop the way you did. We'll give you the trigger, my eating. On a trigger rhythm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, on a trigger rhythm. So, he recorded that song and then left for the States or for the UK mm -hmm. and then. I heard the rhythm and I fell in love with it. I'm like, oh, so I mean, why don't we do a rhythm on this? And that is the first, I don't want to say was, that rhythm is the first Ghanaian rhythm that had one instrumentation that featured a lot of other artists. 
at the time I can remember that it confused the people. Mm -hmm. Some people could call in and say, Ah, Obi Ariel Obi Tino, they are Tino Mo. Obi Ariel Obi Tino, they are Tino Mo. But, but it was doing. one rhythm with yes, several, with several artists. artists. I mean, he did his, but unreleased. So I did mine, and you know, he allowed me to release that one. So when yeah. I released it, it blew up. Everybody thought the song was from a Jamaican. Right. Jamaican speaking, so my Igbe and some You know, you there. know. And that was how the, the thing blew proper. Yeah. You know what I mean? So from that time there, it's been non-stop. There was, there was no stopping. No stop. All right, it's you know, 10 And then minutes. we dropped the grade one album, sorry. And then no we dropped the grade one album, which was supposed to be the, the actual thing. plan. So yeah. after the grade one album dropped, then, well, I got then you were on your way. Now, exactly. Oh. Some people may not know. Hi, Judah is an upcoming um, reggae dancer artist. Mm -hmm. Also, who hails from a shy man. Met him up in the studio one time, and I really like what he's doing. So definitely, I still support him in any little way, like I've always done. Yeah. Like always in done. the same way that somebody supported you, exactly. I guess it's nice that exactly. you also try exactly. to pull exactly. others up, right? Exactly. It's the way to go. Exactly. Okay. Give the best of you that you can. You exactly. Know? Exactly. I, I like that. It, yeah, it. I feel that. Okay, salutes, Bim Boss. Doreen, please our stone boy here in Ghana. He comes from where he comes from in Ghana. And his real name, I just tuned in. I'm a big fan, Fred in Accra. So, well, questions here for you. Where you come from in Ghana and what's your real name? Somebody wants to know. Uh, my passport bears Livingston <laughs> Eche Satekla. Yeah, that's okay. it. And I come from the Volta region. Which part of the Volta do you come from? Why do you want me to pin? Just say one and then leave the rest out. Like, <laughs> okay, that okay. Segregation in the Oh, but you know your people. They want to say, well, I come from Pekin, then the Pekin people will tune in. Segregation in the highest order. Anyway, you know, um, I come from, the, the, I, mean, I know I, I don't want to start mentioning, or else then I'll, I'll mark it all the way into Togo. Okay. Because I, okay. I know you have no to the roots of yeah it. yeah and i mean so so volta Volta region is fine region, uh, the yeah. trans volta togolan from them 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 de. yeah, yeah. Zimmy. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zimmy. So, okay yeah. Doreen, please play a beautiful song for my dal my darling jollof brother okay we'll do that in a little bit okay more of those questions can come in via 1422 mm -hmm. that's our text line 0244-340-437. That's our WhatsApp line. Okay, let's deal with issues in the music industry today. You think anything is wrong in the music industry these days? Oh. <laughs> Can something not be wrong? Uh, well, you tell me. You're in the industry. I mean, I listen, I follow, so maybe you're yeah, probably definitely. seeing things in the industry that we don't see. Just like solving political issues, mm -hmm. life's issues, day in, day out, you know. The music industry in Ghana is also that industry that needs the same approach, that goes through the same process mm -hmm. by the day. Right. So issues here and there, this and that, uh, you know, um, 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 uh, one party against the other party, uh, supporters of one party and the other party. I'm only relating to of course, party, party politically. Wise, so that you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. You know how broad the I whole situation is. I understand perfectly what you're not, trying to it's do. Not, it's not different. It's right. Not, it's not independent from. Right. Is it? Right. So yeah, that's that's it. There are issues. We would wish that some of the things would be addressed even at a governmental level. Mm -hmm. Personally, I would wish that some of the things would be very like visible like you know that okay this that 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 just like when you want to have like a company you know that you have to register that 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 mm -hmm. here and there you have to do this 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 i personally would wish that it is that visible when you know that okay you can't do this you can't do that you should do this your royalty should be going here this should be done that that so that you know I would wish for that, and I know it. it, it so have the, to what you're saying is, you're wishing for proper structures to be set Thank in the you music so industry. Very much. Okay, that's why you're from Tamale. Okay. <laughs> because you can't just definitely spark up and say, um, you know, for, yeah. I mean, for, you can't you can yeah. choose to have a party for shaky reasons, yeah. but because there's a problem with unity, that's how mm. come you pinpointed mm. it. So, mm. what what is it that you want to say about the fact that there's disunity in the industry? What I really wanted to imply. At, with that um, 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 post, when I, that was the first thing I posted after, that was mm -hmm, the year. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to make people know that, listen, when we come together as a number, we can pull shit. True. I don't need to come to eat, and, I don't need to come and eat and, at your house, I don't need to meet with you as an artist or artist, or the leaders of the other camps, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? We mm -hmm. don't have to be friends, mm -hmm. but we should also remember that we're doing the same business. So if we, if we, if we can, on the professional side of things, 
you know, all things come together to make it work. The rumors, the fights, the whatnot, the whatnot. But how professional are we about that? Yeah. So as not to break, not to destroy the whole thing at the end of the day mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the quest or in the light of trying to be um, 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 controversial. You know what I mean? So I only said that so that we know that You're all fighting at the points same like this, I feel so and, and I feel so happy and elated, but I do not feel I, I do I'm not filled with pride mm -hmm. such that I can't even descend and say this belongs to that, this belongs to that. Right. Number of times I will do that every time. One time when I the first time I showed my BET awards mm -hmm. to the masses of Ghana was at the Foresight TV mm -hmm. event where I won the ultimate. And that was where I called Shatawale on stage. Mm -hmm. Who does that? You have to be pro to do that. You have to let aside all of the things, you know what I mean? To show, to lead and make them know that. When it gets to a certain point, because I was happy that, listen, I've been able to raise the BET, being the first ever African artist doing dance or reggae music to win BET hands down. Mm -hmm. Disregard it as much as you can. That only shows your envy. That only shows how weak you are. Because that is what I faced over the time. And I've decided to get mute about it and smile. Just because it's not in your house, you're like, what, with what criteria are they using? Oh, do we know the people? Who oh, are da 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 oh. Oh, man. So you know, we just have to, we, we, we have to, you know, credit persons yeah. where they Give deserve credit it. Where because if I do not deserve it, I will know. Right. Some people have won awards, and those ones are being you kept. Said, you said you know, that when we started. I'm, chatting, I'm yeah. and people are keeping persons awards in their homes <laughs> because they know they have won it, but it doesn't belong to them. Right. So you know what I mean? I'm not bothered at all. But let's just give credit where it's due because you will know yourself that you deserve it. And I know that I deserve every little penny, every little award, every little height that I'm climbing because I put in work. I haven't slept for seven hours yet in a long time, Ras. Wow. Anyways, you know did you mean? get any congratulatory <laughs> messages from, uh, you know, um, the, any persons from the industry when you were nominated? Uh, yeah, you know, since we're talking I, I, about yeah, you. a lot of people sent in tweets. Yeah, but people, people in the industry, yeah. a number of people, people. I can I, I posted it up, and right? I'm so appreciate it. Right. Come on, right. man. At least people, regardless, that. sometimes we all fall victims, sometimes yeah. we do not even find time to be able to say a word or two, right? But it's better it stays that way than even want to break persons, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, you did know? you get did you get any did you get any text or did you get any um, you know, shout out from Shatawali or anything? Like I don't that? need it. You don't need it. Okay, fine. But speaking of which, um, he has. <laughs> speaking of which, I mean, we have to go there. We have to face the elephant in the For room. For real. Um, um, you know, you know, folks also attribute his taking over song to trying to, you know, insinuate and tell you things in his music. Um, basically, um, what's your take on that? Sincerely speaking, I have to be real. I chanced up upon the Sergeant Lee thing mm -hmm. twice. Mm -hmm. This is the third time I'm, 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 I'm hearing it, and I think at a very reputable place where I know I have to start thinking into it and wanting to also find out what it really means and right. what they're driving at. Because right. listening to the song, I have to be sincere. Mm -hmm. I do not hear any shots thrown at me, neither thrown at anybody. You know, some of the other songs may have thrown shots, but that is well allowed you know okay. once it doesn't go beyond certain limits because when it goes beyond limits when it gets personal i will get personal exactly yeah, so that. basically <laughs> what's your view also on writing or doing music that is insinuating that's how that make that's fun that makes it interesting that shows how 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 versatile or how skillful you can play with words mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. so for that i think that's what I, I repeat again. Once it doesn't get personal, some of the things people will say in the songs will be personal stuff. And you see, when you don't know me personally, I can't take it personal. I'm sorry. Right. You know? But right. when you go deeper than to, to, to a certain end where you feel like you know, then you must be called upon to expatiate, please. Right. <laughs> and, and let us know. And prove to us what you know by right. saying that. So for that, it stays there. It's, it, it, it's lyrical. So for the Sergeant Lee word, like you say, I, I don't okay. know. Yeah, like I if say, it means something good, I, I take it. Exactly, exactly. But if it doesn't, mm -hmm. then I don't know what they're talking about. Because I, I do not know what they're talking about. I would wish to know. That's right. what I should say. So right. when I know, then I can and say, oh, thank you for calling me because, Charlie, people would, would, would 
I'm on for my boy, boy, and run any idea. Maybe I'm not being so soon. I'm running up as all born on here, sergeant, because I see other people also send tweets say corporate name, right? Me corporate, so okay. it's, it's, it's all like that. <laughs> so, so, what would you rather do? Would you rather do music that's insinuating, or would you rather do popular music? Ah, oh, repeat the question again, okay. <laughs> it, um, we'll go back to what we were yeah, talking yeah. about about you know so people rather do popular music, music or do music that will insinuate and tell people things indirectly. I'd rather do music which wouldn't tell. Um, I, 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 my music has all along never focused on a person. True. I'm one of the artists who love to address issues, you know, and sing for the girls. That's sing for the girls. So, so you rather. I mean, when I say girls, I mean women. Yes. Da, 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 and address yeah. issues. Yeah. So part of addressing issues. I know that the insinuations mm -hmm. will pop up and all of that. Yeah, yeah but, and yeah, but one, it also so depends on which exactly, topic Exactly, but I on. promise that my music, I have never sat in the studio and put one person up on my head and be like, Bonnet, is that it's, you? It's no, my music is too, my pen is too expensive. <laughs> to write you like know, that. Right. I, I, I beg to save myself uh -huh. from, from mentioning <laughs> I know. one, two, three or more okay. because I know that most of my colleagues have worked Equally hard, hard, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, 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 who were mentioned because last year was Miss V, mm -hmm. and I know that people, I, I have, I felt that people got surprised, mm -hmm. right? right? Exactly. So I can't stand here or sit here and mention what I can only mention what I think, but I'm not BET. I don't know the board. I'm not. You know what I mean? okay. But I would wish that. Mm -hmm. Several more Ghanaians. Yeah, of course. Us. I mean, it's, it's a good way to go. Yeah. Okay, Farouk says, please tell Stone Boy we want to hear more of the reggae thing. We love his songs such as Roots and Culture, wow. Run Go, wow. Fantasy Girl, and them reggae tunes. See okay, there. Farouk. Thank He's you, definitely Farouk. definitely in the Beam uh, Nation. I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful to hear this this morning because right. uh, my, my second, my, my next album coming is all reggae. All right. It's all reggae. And I mean, these ones are singles and then the one there, but my, the album, the episodes of Mama, yeah. actually is reggae. Oh, yeah. reggae. Yeah, yeah, we should look out for the it. Album. Exactly. How soon is that coming I, out? I, I, I thought it was going to be released somewhere in April, but then times and plans have changed just to get it better. Right. Just to make sure it's well done. And okay, it's what, what, when is your tentative release date? Ah, I promised once, I don't want to promise twice. But okay, I know so it's whenever it's ready, it will come out. Okay. So definitely, we're trying to also work around getting some top top features on there as well. and getting it you know it's not about the release only for me on that album there's a, there are a lot of processes that i would want done or you know the little things i would want to seal up before releasing that album as well so right. the reggae album is coming i love reggae as much as you do <laughs> okay farouk the reggae yeah. album is on the way mary says stone who is sergeant lee and he just said he said he doesn't know who sergeant lee is didn't you say that earlier ah uh, yeah <laughs> but who is coprani also <laughs> exactly. I, I think i'll put up this question but i've seen coprani <laughs> yeah, you, you, you don't know who they both <laughs> who, are who, 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 ah well we'll live in that same world well <laughs> kobe kwabna shata just called me to listen live and that's well beam okay well <laughs> team cosmo you do all and that's from james yeah i think they're also welcome to listen in because hey why we all not? learn from each other mm. why not it's a free country i listen to <laughs> i listen to everybody's songs i listen to shatter's songs too, yeah don't you know, yeah. know and i know he listens to my too. exactly is there any yeah. favorite from shatter's camp that you like uh Shata has done a couple of bangers that yeah. i love a couple yeah. of bangers i was yeah. dancing to one at the the, the four side at the time yeah and this one has caught my ears also. Uh, it's the one that Sergeant Lee has. Oh, okay, the taking yeah, over one. Yeah. Okay. And they are you okay. too. It's, yeah, it's you. more aware for me. So yeah, yeah. Are you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's so, hear yeah. Run Go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. so I know, like, it's going to be maximum 10 tracks. 10 tracks? You know. What, yeah. what, what language do you usually like to write in? Be it, I mean, usually when you do Patua, do you usually like to add some Chi or some Ewe or Gansue? Which language do you usually sway to apart from the Patua? Um, interestingly, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you haven't thought about it. <laughs> I have, I have. It's interestingly, when I, when I, when I'm in the studio and I'm vibing, interestingly, oh, it goes around, I don't understand to, to, to guard that much, okay. but I love uh, it. goes around guy and tree and then some airway, and then I have to sit back and then, depending on what song it is. So it, it depends on what song and what mood I'm in and what I want to create. Yeah, but they, the lyrics just but sometimes, they English, just come to yeah, you. Because I think that I've 
I study, you know, to show myself approved. So the, um, the English, the patois, all of it, you know, because <laughs> music on its own is a universal language. Yeah, so. and usually you sing what you feel. Yes, thank you. You didn't knock that thing on the head, though. Hey, hey, like, hey. We've been telling people. We can't sing far. Asama is behind you. Don't you know worry. Me. Nobody oh, will harass you. Just walking again. distance Nobody away. Will harass you <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. I got you. Got your voice looking yeah. out for me. Call now. Snoop any day. Big up Snoop. Any big up time. Snoop. Yeah, big Look up out for me, yo. Yeah, man. Especially when they could yeah. take him to run Uganda, me down. Gago. Yeah, don't know. Military. Yeah. Don't call me name. If you know so with me from the beginning, oh what a shame. Why do you want me to fail at the end of the day? Don't call my name. If you know so with me from the beginning, oh what a shame. Why do you want me to fail at the end of the day? You only know my name. You don't know my story. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, 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 no. Hey, ask me how to feel the paper. And I got first and I for favor, making good for more. I want to get the day figure. Mm -hmm. hey, nowhere to find them, yeah. Only a few was kind, and yeah. Like a diamond from the dust, I knew my star would shine. Don't come in, eh? Hey, don't come in, eh? Hey. If you know, still with me from the beginning. Oh, what a shame. Why do you want me to fail at the end of the day? Don't call my name. If you know, still with me from the beginning. Oh, what a shame. Why do you want me to fail at the end of the day? You only know my name. You don't know my story. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, me don't know what they want me. Inspire me. Oh, speak it for you. Flat down like I can't tire. Me not stop putting the messiah cause the devil is a liar. I just keep going higher. Say, ah, 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 ah. See, them know my name. Them no know my story. Na, 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 na. Talk your own to me. It no matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't come in there. If you know I with me from the beginning. Oh, what a shame. Why do you want me to fail at the end of the day? That you'd like to do an interesting collab with from Ghana. Yeah. Who are you looking at? Uh, it could be somebody who is. Yeah. I mean, it could be a big name or it could be a small name. Yeah, exactly. Apparently, you have some young people that yeah, you're tutoring sure. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I, I know that I have to do songs with a lot of a lot of my fellow artists from mm -hmm. here because mm -hmm. that hasn't happened yet. Right. right. Between between me, um, between me and Becca. Okay, you'd like to do a track. Yeah. yeah. Between me and. And 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 and, 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 and a couple a lot of people between me and El we've done some but we could do more between right. me and Flo Kingstone mm -hmm. between me and there are a lot of people that haven't done songs with, with yet right. that I would be you willing to do songs with so then right. they stop right so yeah, yeah. Man, and and, and, and since you also you know trying ones. to take a lot more younger people and take exactly. them along with you exactly. um what what's your advice to the young people who would come to you to say, look, I want to be like you. I want exactly. to follow your footsteps. What would you say to them? Exactly. Um, um, it takes a lot of work, you know. Personally, you have to know, 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 know what you want to be. You have to know your worth. You have to invest a lot of time and energy into into into, into it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can inspire you, but I'm not going to be able to do the work for you. You know, and um, that is how you you sometimes it becomes like that. You find out that when in a, when, when you try to support, then it becomes that you have to do all the work. Yeah, they leave the work and on your hands. And it turns out to be something else, right. which, 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 so, you know what I mean? And that's being real, because yeah. we've yeah, tried. that's what you have seen. That's what I've, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I've seen, that's what I've done, mm -hmm. and that's how, you know, so, mm -hmm. get, being ready for yourself is, is most important, and knowing that you owe it to yourself alone, to be appreciative of every little effort that you get and maximize it. And then keep kicking, you know. Right. Like we're saying we will do the best that we can as as always. Yeah. Same way we got inspired. Same way we know and we believe that we are inspiring others yes. as well. Good.